Well, I'm back in my wagon, my chariot, my golden chariot, which happens to be a Kia, which means uh, birthed out of Asia. And I love that. Um, I hear so much in my car and it's not a coincidence. Metal holds memory, if you didn't know. And this car is very sung in, prayed in. I've actually set an intention. All the, all the land reclamation work I've done, I've done in this vehicle. And this vehicle, as soon as I get into this car, I start hearing spirit. So today, the message that's pulling in may be an uncomfortable one. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments on this, but it's about three dimensional um, resistance. Now, what we resist persists. Now, a lot of us in this awakening are resisting being in this world. And in that, um, I'm just going to say, you continue that game because what we are born to do actually is to be a bridge, to be a change, to actually pull heaven in to this realm. And um, I'm learning quite a bit of this from one of my guides, Joseph, who actually changed systematically uh, during his rule in Egypt by working with the system. Now, I'd like you to ponder that uh, because a lot of us in this awakening, uh, we, we burst into anger, fear, rebellion, and so therefore we resist everything that's systematic. But that isn't how we'll change it because that's coming from this scared child mentality. How we will change the system is to infiltrate it, to put love where fear is, to, to rule with uh, kindness, to rule with compassion, to work within the system. It's written in the scrolls that God even owned Pharaoh's heart. So once we can comprehend that everything's working for our good, I have no fear of being within a system or working within a system or um, or by being the change to the system, by showing the system that I can be trustworthy, that I can do things in a professional way. And I was giggling to myself today in that I feel like I am being called by spirit to bring the woo-woo to the corporate world. And that feels really exciting because when we get into corporate uh, world ruling with fairness and with compassion and with um, spiritual laws, which is love, uh, can you imagine how quickly the world will shift and change? So I just want to encourage you today to not resist systems, even though they're corrupted at this point. I want you to just stop pushing upon that door. Just allow your consciousness to float on in and be the change because you are that heavenly bridge. You are that tree of life. You are the way that's going to show things um, that blow people's minds, I feel. So if you disagree with that, that's okay. Like it does take some processing. It does take some time for that to drop in. But if you can hold the frequency of joy regardless of circumstances, my friends, I think you've made it. Heaven's here on earth. See you soon.